Hey, friends, how you doing this morning? Hey, you know, the country, uh, getting in pretty bad shape. You know, the trial come out there yesterday, this George Floyd deal. They got the verdict they wanted. He was guilty. But that's not what this is all about. By no means is this what this is about. Now, a lot of the black people out there protesting was protesting for George Floyd. I'll, I'll give that credit. But these people like Joe Biden and Camel Toe Harris and all these multi-rich people out there, all these rich ball players, all these rich TV stars, that wasn't their agenda, folks. Their agenda was, Nancy Plipso, Maxine Walters, was to take this death and try to create more racism in this country. That's all it was all about. They could give us shit less about George Floyd. You know, history proves itself. History repeats itself. But all these people's got these millions of dollars, some of them hundreds of millions. Very rich people. I don't see them helping black people no way, no shape, no, no way. The only thing they're doing with black people, they keep your ass in the hood, they keep you uneducated, they keep you right where they want you, where they got you. Dependent on them. Now, they're not going to give you none of their money. They're going to give you the tax money that people pay in. People like me. People like other black people that works. You know, folks, this country's turning into a a shithole pretty quick. Here we got, how many, three or four damn of our representatives are Muslims? In a country that we just fought a friggin' 20 year war with? With Muslims? That hate America? And these four definitely hate America. They tell you that. They tell you that it's a shithole. We need to change everything. We need to do away with the police. What are you going to do, folks, when you do away with all the police officers? Just tell me what you're going to do. You're talking about the wild, wild west all over again. You know, you ain't ever dealt with a bunch of savages yet. And when it comes down to the end, people will turn into savages. They'll turn in to protect their own, just like a lion with its cub. You're going to protect them cubs, whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're Mexican, whether you're... Whatever. Now, all the government's doing with this George Floyd bullshit and the rest of these cases is they want a race war in this country. They want us to start it. They want the blacks and the whites to start it themselves. They can't be found guilty of starting it, which they are. Then they're going to bring in the UN, which is dying to get their ass in here to destroy what's left of this country. How many troops y'all think China will send in here to disarm America? How many do you think y'all send with them blue helmets on? And you think they're gonna they're coming in here with intentions of, of stopping a war between blacks and whites? No, they're coming in with intentions of taking America. Then Joe Biden will put you black people right back where he wants you at. You know, this same man, and you can't deny this. You can take this down. You can do whatever you want. This is the same man that said he didn't want black children in his white schools. Joe Biden said that. Not Mark Hatfield. Joe Biden said that. Joe Biden said we didn't need no more black people, politicians, judges in Washington, D.C. We had enough. And you people think that this guy really likes you? A guy that, uh, that run a, a woman as vice president and telling y'all she's black? And people believe this bullshit. And she's not black. That was the closest thing he could get to a black woman without getting a black woman. How he could have got a black woman to run for vice president? But no, he ain't gonna do that. Shit, you're crazy. You think Joe Biden's gonna put a black person in us in with him? Folks, it's coming down to a damn war in this country. 
Like I said, it's, it's a war that they want started. It's a war they want to bring the UN to end. Then it's gone. Your freedom's gone. Your guns will be took. You'll be like whoop fucking puppies. They'll be just like Hitler, just exactly out of their playbook. They'll kill who they don't want. They'll put you in camps. They'll put you in prisons. We'll be just like China and Russia and the rest of them. No difference. You know, I can't believe that the black people supporting the party that kept you all as slaves, the Democrats, the party that kept you from voting, the party that kept you out of white restaurants, the party that kept you on the back of the buses if you was allowed on the bus, the party that's kept you impoverished for most of your life. And now you think this is the greatest thing since x -Lax? It's not, folks. It's not. They don't like you black people. They don't like us white people. They want power. They want the rule. This country. You know, you old people out there, you amaze me. And I'm one of them. I'm one of the old people. But you dumb ass people amaze me. You'll go out and you'll vote for somebody like Joe Biden. Oh, I got to vote Democrat. Go oh, hold up, mercy. Great poppy, poppy, poppy was a Democrat. And here this son of a bitch is bringing in illegals all over the country, refugees all over the country, putting them everywhere, giving them free motels to stay in, giving them food vouchers, 100% free fucking medical care, along with all the other trash that don't want to get off their ass and work. All this damn HUD housing across the United States, all these big free apartments across the United States, the people that don't want to work. And then they make you older people that worked your ass off, draw a little bit of Social Security, pay part of your medical, give you just enough to fucking live off of, but they take care of the people that don't want to work. How the hell can you justify this by saying, oh, I ain't going to vote nothing but a Democrat? When they're taking food out of your mouth and giving it to people that's never even been no asset to the United States. You know, here Joe Biden said, now we're going to, oh, oh, we're going to up the limit on these illegals. Well, you can't call them illegals no more. They're just, uh, what would you call them? Hell, I don't even know what you want to call them now. Oh, I'll tell you what they're going to call them. Me M&Ms. Yeah, man. Them tasty M&Ms. Them children, let's think what we can do with all these children coming in. Yeah, our pedophile rings. Boy, we're stocked back up now, ain't we, honey? Now, that's your damn elite party. Not only Democrats, that's across the country. That's your movie stars. That's your rich people. You know, that's the people that's wanting to make it legal to rape children in this country. And you people vote for trash like this. You actually support trash. Then you holler, oh, God, I'm a Christian. Lord, have mercy. Come on and get me, God. I support Joe Biden 100%. Come and get me, Lord. I'm going to tell you what the Lord's going to do. He's going to send your ass straight to hell. Because you guys should have enough damn sense not to support evil. And your friggin' preachers out there, these money-hungry son of a bitches out there in these churches, they're not going to tell you the damn truth. As long as you fill their coffers up on a tax-free basis. I don't give a damn, folks, whether you're black or white. We got the greatest country on earth. I know a lot of black people that works, decent, nice people. They're the same as I am. They're not no difference. Hell, I don't see no black and no white. Not in good people. But the government wants us to hate one another. They want you to hate me because I got white skin, and they want me to hate you because you got black skin. And if we do this, they're going to win. Our teachers or now indoctrinating children. The union, the union teachers, oh, we don't want to go back to school. Hell, we're enjoying this time off, man. We're getting paid every damn day to teach your dumb-ass kids stuff that they ain't going to learn anyway. But I'm going to tell you how bad these Democrats are to black people. You know, now even in colleges and schools and stuff, they want to have two different tests. They want to have one for black kids and one for white kids. Because they say, now this is them, this is not me saying this. This is our government. That these black kids is not as smart as white kids. 
and they can't be graded the same as white children. God damn, tell that to Ben Carson. Tell that to some of the elite black people of this country that they're too fucking dumb to take the same test as a white person. You know, it's wrong, folks. It's wrong to take a race of people and act like that uh, they're not equal to whites. And that's all the Democratic Party's trying to do is, is separate this country and have a war so that they can take it over. Now, you can take that to the bank. But you all remember, in the end, this is all fulfillment of the, of the final chapter of the Bible. You preachers can say what you want. You can holler what you want. You can scream what you want. You're going to burn in hell right with the people for not telling the truth across this country. White preachers, black preachers, don't make a shit what color you are. To the day that you start telling the truth to the people in this country, what we need to do, all we need to do in this country is just bring God back into this country. We need to do away with what the Democrats started years and years ago with these abortion clinics in black neighborhoods. The Democrats started abortions to annihilate black children. That's history, folks. That's not bullshit. To this day, what, they've killed 20 million black children? What do you think they want abortions for? They want to control you. They want to control your population. Don't be, don't be, don't fall into this trap. You know, and, and black people's not the, all the problem. We got more white people than blacks ever thought about on all this freebie shit. You know, people just looks at the cities. They don't look out in the country. Hell, half of West Virginia's on some kind of a check that don't work. Got it better than any working man in the country. Now you can't even hire people to work because the government's paying them more to stay at home. Free health care, 100% health care, man. 100%. And you old working people out there, you're okay with this bullshit. Oh, I guess they deserve it, honey. Let's vote for Biden again. Look what he's done for this country, bringing these old illegals in and giving them their money, giving them their Social Security. Yeah, we're going to put it on Social Security, too. That's just the matter of the future. See, y'all think about this. You think about it. You think about what your leaders has done to this country. And not only Democrat leaders, We've had some badass Republican leaders. George Bush was one of the most destructive people ever in this country. Obama was destructive. Joe Biden was destructive. In my lifetime, there been one man come along that was for the people. For the people, all people. That was Donald Trump. And they have made him out, and now they've admitted it. They made up all these lies, how racist he was, all this bullshit when he was one of the best people presidents in the last hundred years. Basically the only one. So now, if you want a war, just hell bring it on. Let's get it over with. There's no need of living in fear for neither side. You know, I mean, if that's what they want, I'm going to tell you something, Mr. Biden. There's an army in this country of good blacks, whites, Hispanics, Mexicans, that when you try to take over, ain't no fucking army in the world going to defeat the people of the United States of America. Not just white people, but all people. You remember that. You remember that. You're not full of these decent black people with your rhetoric bullshit on racism. You're not fooling these smart people. You're just fooling the ones that you've got on welfare and checks. This Afita bunch out there, these college, rich college graduates, rich parents and stuff, out there running around, oh, Black Lives Matter. Why don't they invite you over to their country club on weekends? I'll tell you why, because they don't want nothing to do with you black ass. That's exactly why you're not invited over. You're a pawn, you're a used, they're using you. Now, you know, you blacks want to riot. You go to the good part of the city. You go downtown Chicago, where Oprah Winfrey lives, and take them damn rich people's apartment, them two and three, four, five million dollar apartment buildings. You deserve them. 
That's the people that's keeping you down. Not me. New York the same way. Get on Wall Street and take the shit. Don't, don't burn your own damn neighborhood. That's ignorance. That is thoroughbred ignorance. Go to the rich neighborhoods, the people that's keeping you down, and take it. They want you to have it. They say every day that they want you to have it. Joe Biden's got $4 million mansions. I'm for sure he wants you to have three of them. Well, probably not black people, but illegals. Obama's got a, a two or three houses. Why don't he let you move into it? George Saris is a billionaire. Why don't he give you that money? These rich ball players, why don't they help black people? Answer that question. Then figure out what's going on. Are you important or are you just being used? God bless you. Don't want no war, folks. Don't want this country destroyed. All I want this country to be... It's just a country for everybody to live in, to prosper, to, to have a good life. We don't need racism brought back into this country. And the Democrats are the ones that's bringing it back in. The same people that started all this bullshit years and years ago now are bringing it back. Like I said, they're doing away with history, so you can't read history. You can't read about Biden's mentor, our great senator here from West Virginia, Robert Byrd, a KKK member. You know, they don't want you to hear from Camel Toe Harris's father about them owning slaves back in the days. Mm, no, don't want you to hear about that. Her father and mother said she's not black. They don't want to be called black people. But then they got American people trying to fool you into thinking she's a black woman. Oh, a woman of color. Well, hell, I'll go get a suntan and I'll be a man of color. So I'll run for president. Would that be good enough? Ain't much difference in it. <laughs> Talk to you later. Y'all be careful, be good. And please, folks, let's don't destroy this country. Let's all come together and take this freaking country back. God bless you.